Hello guys and welcome back. Uh, let's move on to the eye shader. It is actually a difficult shader to make from scratch. So we're gonna steal the one they're using in the uh, realistic character demo. Um, I have that file already uh, extracted out. So if you go to our forum, um, the forum is here, uiw3d.com and go to the forums and then we can look for the junior year maybe i can post the link also in the description advanced characters rendering assets and just go to the first one the second one is actually the uh the, the maya file so we go ahead and download this guy okay uh, it's downloading <laughs> meanwhile we can go to the content browser and we can look at the set bar here right click on the content and show in explore so we can open that folder and while well, we can now go to the download get our eye shader and extract it and then we can double click to open it and open it again there's a character folder Control c to copy that and put it into your content folder okay and now if you take a look at the content we do have the folder added already into the shared uh, eye materials, there is a eye material. So we can now drag that over to our eyes. Okay, you can see now it's already pretty good. Uh, a few things we can make change to this, of course. You can double click to open it and there are a whole lot of settings. One thing I want to change is the color of the iris. And there are two set of different textures. Uh, so this bluish one and I believe another brown one here so we can switch it to that one okay and also here we can change the size of the iris okay let's make this guy bigger okay so we can change the iris uv radius to make it bigger or smaller i can see the background is actually still that old eye so we can go ahead and change that to um if you go down here you can look for this empty one yeah, that's better. Okay. All right, that's too small now. <laughs> so I'm gonna change the UV radius to make it uh, to the proper size. There's also a control for the pupil scale, make it bigger or smaller. All right, uh, if I wanted to make it darker, then I have to go inside and add extra features. So scroll down to the parent and double click to open the eye shader. And you can see it is pretty complicated. And that's not even all there is. If you go here into this really massive node, it's it's actually the node that calculates refraction. And if you double click to open it, you can see that's a whole lot inside of it, right? So yeah, it's it's not simple, um, for sure. Um, so if you want to kind of like decipher it, you need to learn a lot of like mathematics about how this is done. Here, the refraction is calculated um, like so it's, it's using the IRS, uh, IOR index of refraction and uh, also the waters one. And it's trying to use a formula called Snell's law to fake refraction, figure out how much refraction there is and use that to calculate how much over here to uh, distort the UV, which will generate a interesting UV like this. And what it does is that in the center of that UV, if it's able to get it out, <laughs> I guess it can't. <laughs> or maybe we're not, we, uh, yeah, we're, yeah, that's it. So um, in the center, it's actually having been, having been, uh, it's actually been <laughs> distorted a little bit. Uh, that's because uh, the color is too bright, so you cannot really see it. But anyway, if you jump back to the uh, refraction eye, eye shader, this one even uh, eventually governs the distorted UV, which distorts it. So if you right click here and start previewing the node, you can see it's already distorting. There's no light, right? Just this texture itself is doing that already. You can see how it's faking the refraction in the middle, right? It's all done by a fake mathematic underneath it to, to make it work. Uh, and eventually uh, it's gonna be blended with the background like that. All right, with that being said, we can now try to add something 
here before it's getting blended to be able to change the color of the iris. So let me hold in the M and click to add a new node here, multiply and drag that RGB to A, result goes to what it was connected, right? And then holding down V and click to create a uh, vector parameter or a color node and call this guy um, RS color malt. And that goes to the B input and we make the color white in the default settings. And okay, All right, that's gonna give us extra control over the color. And let me go ahead and apply and save this. Okay. So this is a really interesting shader. I think it, you can learn a whole lot by deciphering what's going on here. Like uh, in, I believe in here, this custom node is using some coding to shrink the UV to dilate and shrink the, the, the iris basically, or pupil actually over here. So uh, what it does is basically shifting the UVs to the middle by uh, reducing 0.5 and then multiply values to make it bigger or smaller and then shift it back afterwards, which is pretty cool. Uh, so I'm gonna save that and then close everything here now and we can double click to actually click on the eye maybe and double click to open the eye shader instance. Now we can go to the iris color multiplier and double click to open the color here. If I wanted to make the iris or the pupil, uh, iris actually darker, I can drag that down. You can see it's, it's multiplying on top to make it darker, right? Cool. And I think that's the, the iris color of this character, maybe a little bit darker than that. Okay. Cool. And there are a lot of other things you if you want to play with, but the default setting is pretty good already, so I don't really bother wanting to change anything here. <laughs> so I'm going to close it. And that's about everything uh, of the eye now. So let's move on to the next video where we talk about how to improve the lighting a little bit. But now we just have one actually two lights, but we want to make it a little bit more interesting lighting wise. Okay, see you next time.